less than an hour outside of the city of Hiroshima stands a small island named Miyajima, or Japanese for Shrine Island. Known for its unique temples and giant Tori Gate that at a high tide seems to float on the water, we knew this was the right place to experience the most authentic Japanese culture. So join us while we explore one of the most iconic islands of Japan, sleep in a traditional Japanese accommodation and go on a DIY food tour in the streets of Miyajima. Miyajima is a beautiful place famous amongst tourists and locals alike. The island can get incredibly crowded during the day, but in the evening the area becomes much more quieter and peaceful. The best way to enjoy this magical place is by staying overnight at the traditional Japanese accommodation Ryokan. Ryokan are Japanese style inns where you can experience the traditional Japanese lifestyle. Of course we couldn't miss the opportunity to experience something this unique and what better place to do it than in this romantic island. Ryokans can be found everywhere in Japan, but we wanted to find one managed by a local family to have the most authentic experience possible. We couldn't have been more lucky because this one belonged to a Japanese family and had everything we were looking for. From tatami rooms, foot on beds and even a Japanese style bath. Our room was amazing and the view was even better. But before the day ended, we still needed to go to one of the most iconic shrines of Japan to enjoy a beautiful sunset. We are at the Itsukushima Shrine, this is a very famous shrine here in Miyajima in Japan. This is a shrine with the floating Tori Gate and also when the tide is high this appears to be floating. It's very peaceful and very very beautiful and you also have a very nice view of the five-story pagoda. Today is the only full day that we have to explore Miyajima and unfortunately it's raining a lot. We are starting by visiting the temple Daicho In, it's right up there and after that we are going to take a hike, it's going to be very very fun. The rain is not going to be helping us but yeah, let's go. The Daisho In Temple is located at the base of Mount Misen and is the oldest and most significant of the Buddhist temples on the island. It features a variety of buildings, statues and multiple religious objects. Beautiful. 
beautiful place. Look at this view. It's raining a lot, it gives a mystical feeling to the, this place and it's even more magical. We are loving it. We ended up not doing the Mount Misen Trail because we got caught up in the most beautiful complex of temples that we've ever seen. And it's now lunchtime, so we want to try some of the specialties that they have here in Miyajima. So let's try to find some. So we are trying fried oyster first. Let's see if it's good. It looks delicious. Look at this. The oyster is very, very famous here, but since we don't like raw oyster, let's try the fried one. Everything is better fried. Yep, it's true. Everything is better fried. It's time to try the grilled oysters. Way better than I expected. Way better. Approved. So now we are trying heel. Conjure heel on rocks. Let's see if it's good. So, what you eating? <laughs> I don't know. I know that it has bacon and cheese, and it's very good. Let's try the conger heel. Now it's time for the dessert. It's shaped like the lid and it's with caramel. Mm. <laughs> 10 out of 10. The best, the best thing that we tried today. <laughs> we 
ended our day by soaking ourselves in a traditional Japanese bath while the rain poured down outside. We honestly couldn't have asked for a better ending to this amazing experience in Miyajima. As always, thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one. They probably didn't like the news.